I'm all about local flavor and attractions. So we're looking at Monument, Colorado, just north of Colorado Springs. You either already live there or you're looking at living there and you're thinking, what is there to really do? So my goal is to give you kind of a bird's eye view and a few tips and tricks and places that you might not know about as far as doing things in Monument, Colorado. So here's the 11 things you might not know about in Monument, Colorado that are fun to do because you don't know what you don't know. Let's check it out. I connect with people just like you every day to help them discover where to live and invest in real estate and sell property for top dollar when the time is just right. My name is Leif Jacobson. I'm an ex-cop turned realtor, also known as Safe Leif. If you're new to this channel, subscribe so you're first to learn about Colorado real estate all around Colorado. My contact information is below and I'm super excited to hear from you. So reach out by text, call, or email after this video. I'd love to hear from you or book a calendar appointment and I will reach out to you. Whatever works best for you, I'm excited to talk with you. So today we're covering 11 things in Monument, Colorado that you may not know about that you're gonna wanna check out. I'm all about local flavor, so let's go and check those out. The first thing we're gonna check out in Monument, Colorado or be aware of is that there are over 20 scenic trails and hiking trails and recreational activities in Monument. So there's hiking, biking, running, exploring. But some of the top trails are Mount Hermon, which is just up and outside Monument, uh, kind of just out, out of downtown, just past Monument Rock, which is a sandstone rock, a few a couple hundred feet high, about a 2.7 mile trail that circumnavigates Monument Rock. Just up outside Monument Rock are two different mountains, which one is Mount Hermon, which is 9,063 feet. There's a couple mile trail, this 2.1 mile trail actually, uh, that goes up to Mount Hermon. And from kind of the other, other side, you can head up to Raspberry Mountain, which is 10,605 feet, just a few hundred feet higher than Mount Hermon. It's a six mile trail that goes to and from Mount Hermon. The Santa Fe Trail also runs through town. That's a 17 mile stretch of trail that runs through Monument from Palmer Lake, goes 17 miles all the way down into and through Colorado Springs. So those are some of the scenic trails and recreational activities as number one. Number two are happy hour spots. I'm all about local flavor as far as breweries and food and local bites. So there's a couple of spots to point out. One is Pikes Peak Brewing. It's award-winning brew, all different kinds of beers on tap, over 20 different beers on tap. It has a cozy living room, a really neat space. There's some neat local flavor in there and racks and kind of the ambiance. I really like the ambiance. There's a tap room and a huge beer garden out back. So when the weather's nice, it's super nice to check out the beer garden. It's great for gatherings and bringing your buddies and friends there. 300 Days of Shine is moonshine spot for sipping and great selection to take home some moonshine to sip. So you might not know about that one. The third thing you might not know about in Monument are different local food bites and places to eat. There's some really cool flavor in the walkable downtown of Monument. The Coffee Cup opens for early breakfast. It's a great cafe right in downtown, right by Limbach Park just across the street actually from Limbach Park and they have gluten-free options for those gluten-free needs. There's a couple places that cater to gluten-free folks. The next one is Lolly's Ice Cream Shop. They have homemade ice creams that are fabulous and they also have a gluten-free bakery. So they have gluten-free baked goods. The Bistro on 2nd is just around the corner from there, a couple blocks to the east. It's a higher end night out with a great patio, really good food good local flavor, it's a cute little place. And right next to that, or about a block away, is Papa Bear Pizza. It's a downtown staple for outstanding pizza. So there's kind of a courtyard there, really neat ambiance if you want really good pizza. The Back East Bar and Grill is a great place to eat food and catch up on the game you're wanting to watch. That is on, it's not downtown, it's east of uh, Interstate 25 on the other side of Monument. So it's technically walkable, but you might want to drive. It's probably a mile or three quarters of a mile just outside of town on the other side of the freeway. Wesley Owens Coffee is just north of Back East Bar and Grill. Hey, they're a local family owned coffee shop. I actually know the owners myself. They have a great sense of community. It's a really neat flavor in this coffee shop. You might want to go 
at the right time because it's difficult to find a spot. It's so popular. It's and really good coffee and it's hard to find a, sp a space to sit down sometimes, which is good for them. It's a great coffee spot. Black Forest Foods is the other one I wanted to point out. There's outstanding lunches from you know, burgers and sandwiches, you know, local fare food, and it's there's a really cool patio out there. So it's a great people watching spot, sitting on the patio outside, especially when the weather's nice, watching folks go by, uh, and that's just smack downtown. Fourth thing you might not know about in Monument is Monument Ice Rinks. Local flavor, just on the south side, a couple miles south of downtown Monument on the west side of Highway 25. There's lots of programs, it's a huge facility, and it's a really fabulous niche, because how many hockey places do you know of around? There's youth hockey, adult hockey leagues, figure skating. You can learn to skate if you're brand new to skating. There's a public skating times where you can just come in and skate for fun and your kids can try hockey for free. So Monument Ice Rinks. The fifth thing you might not know about in Monument are some great parks that I'll mention to you. So a couple that are, one's in downtown, one's just outside of downtown Monument is Limbach Park. It is just, just outside of downtown. I mean, it's a couple blocks walk from downtown, depending on where you pin that. There's a playground there, there's great picnic tables, and there's a little stage for concerts or, you know, kids get up there and have fun uh, playing as though they're putting on a little show. Dirty Woman Creek Park is just around the corner. It's just about a mile south of Limbach Park. There's a playground there, a big field, a small creek that's perfect for exploring and kind of having fun and a couple fields for different kinds of activities there. And then Monument Skate Park for the skaters in your world. <laughs> There's Monument Skate Park on the north side of town. Pikes Peak Library District is the sixth thing that you may not know about. It's a full service library. It's in the same complex, just on the east side of the building from Wesley Owens Coffee, just around the corner. It's, it has great kids events and activities for all ages. And it's good family stuff and a neat resource. It's a local flavor, smaller library, real small quaint feel. Uh, there's even some ducks as a little attraction if you want to have, if you have young kids uh, or even just doing that yourself. There's a little pond out back and you bring some stale bread and hang out in the pond and the ducks love eating stale bread at the pond. That's just something fun to do right behind the library there. Seventh thing you might not know about a monument is a couple golf courses, a couple different kinds of golf with its regular uh, golf or disc golf if you're familiar. So the King's Deer Championship Golf Course is there. You do not have to be a member. It's a public golf course. Anybody can play and it's award-winning. And the Rock and the Rails Disc Golf Course is just north in Palmer Lake, kind of a suburb of Monument. And it's just right along the lake and it's a disc golf course just up to the north. So you're literally just a few minutes out of town and you can be doing disc golf. YMCA. Amazing zero entry kids area with a playground and the water. The YMCA is a really nice facility just on the east side of town. On the east side of 25 is the YMCA building with a couple other businesses. It's a pretty cool complex. There's a wide variety of classes offered and there's Benny's Restaurant for a healthy breakfast or lunch in between your workouts. The ninth thing are a few little group of activities that I'll point out that you may not know about in Monument, Colorado, which is there's a huge 4th of July parade and street fair. It's a big deal, all the locals come out, really cool local flavor. I, I love and look forward to that every year. Now, the concerts in the park every week during the summers is a pretty cool ambiance. And the tree lighting in December for Christmas trees, there's car shows in the summer, and there are art walks through the downtown shops during the summers as well. So they do a good job with kind of boutique local flavor stuff there. The 10th thing is Lewis Palmer School District 38 is the school district in the area and there are top-notch programs and even after school and extracurricular programs. So there's five elementary schools, one middle school that all the five elementary schools kind of funnel into. So the middle school's a little tight to be honest because there's five schools that, that funnel into it and then expands a little bit with two high schools. One of them is newer. But there's an online option for middle and high school. Uh, there's preschool, homeschool enrichment program. Monument Academy is a K through 12 charter school with two different campuses as well. 11th thing you might not know about Monument is again, hitting on a few recreational activities 
is it's called the Tri Lakes area. So Palmer Lake, Woodmore Lake, and Monument Lake are known as the Tri Lakes in these little towns and kind of suburbs of Monument. Uh, the area is referred to as the Tri Lakes because they all kind of run together and kind of feed off of each other. Monument Lake is the largest, technically, of the three lakes. So there's no motorized vehicles on the lake, but lots of paddle boards and kayaks and people swimming in the lakes. It's just great. Palmer Lake is a five minute drive up Highway 105 and boasts some great restaurants. There's some neat little local flavor restaurants, kind of like Downtown Monument, but Palmer Lake is its own flavor as well. There's some hiking trails, scenic drives, Perry Park Road and Spruce Mountain Road. The Spruce Mountain Recreational Area is a huge kind of lateral recreation area with some neat mountain biking and really cool trails as well, just up in Palmer Park. So those are 11 things hopefully that you didn't know about that you're, that's good to be aware of in Monument, Colorado, just the north side of Colorado Springs. Even if you live in Colorado Springs and you just want to explore some stuff up north, this can be helpful to you as well. So hopefully it's provided value to you. I'd love to be a resource for you. I'm all about connecting. I'm a genuine communicator and a relational realtor. I'd love to connect with you. Reach out by text, call, or email after this video or book an appointment and I'll reach out to you. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.